Ride and Shine, Saturday, July 9th, up at Sky Park, hosted by Adam Mock and Mark from the segment. Should be an amazing day. I hope to see uh, all kinds of people up there, and hopefully there's some transformation in uh, some people's lives, and uh, somebody hears something they need to hear, uh, because that's really what it's all about. So, excited about it, super pumped, and uh, looking forward to riding with everyone, and um, Look forward to meeting some people that I have never met before. So, uh, it's gonna be an awesome day. You! Oh, yeah. Good lord, that was deep! Okay, Whoa! Craig, look at me! Cali Mark! Huh. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. My man! Let's go, honey! Let's go, Grubby! Honey, come! Let's go, Justin. I was just sliding my catch. Catch, catch. Oh, oh, You know, I'm definitely glad I got this run in with uh, Adam and uh, Lewis, who's behind us. Uh, there had to be 25, 30 people up there that I personally know and ride with on Following random MTV different bases, right some much more often than others. And I bet you I only rode with probably, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 of them. Uh, it's always such a bummer. You, know, you want to get so many laps in with everyone, you just can't. Uh, and really, that's probably that number is probably an understatement. I, I, I could have been probably been 50 people I would have loved to ridden with up there. Um, so, anyways, I'm glad I got to, got the slap in with these guys. Sausage. All right, all right, all right. Holy shit! Fuck! up there. Yeah, that nine deep thing is tough.
Hell yeah, Grimey's on it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sick. Alternate lines. Yeah, go Joe. Good, Joey. Yeah. Love. Lead your life at full choice. I absolutely love being able to do that with people. The trick to this whole thing, though, is a lot of the work I do has to do with the narratives in people's minds, these stories that we tell ourselves. We actually experience the world through emotion first. Most people don't realize that. We experience through emotion first, and then we have to think about what to do with that information. And a lot of times, that story we write is horrific. It's scary. It's terrifying to us because we're worried about what they're going to think. We're worried about being judged. We're worried about the comparisons of other people. So what do we do? We armor up and we don't share that information. The goal here today is to actually speak openly about it. We, we look at people's highlight reels and their filters and the slick music and the cuts and we go, everyone has it better than me. I'm failing. I don't get it. I can't keep up. I don't understand and everyone else has it figured out. Today, we're not armoring up at all. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, you're gonna find out that we're not perfect. Whew, thankfully, we're not perfect. <laughs> None of us are here. It's an illusion, as I said. Uh, we're not gonna avoid the hard conversations. You all are gonna hear things today that are gonna be very raw and very honest. We're gonna have them. It's about time we have them. And we're not gonna be guarded. We're gonna be super vulnerable. So please know that when speakers are on stage, this takes an act of courage to be up here and share things that we're normally super scared to share, okay? Now, I wanna uh, uh, make sure that you understand exactly why we are doing an event like this. We need to end this stigma about our mental health. Yeah. <laughs> mental health, right? Yeah, you can applaud that. It's cool. Here's what I mean by that. Our goal today is to save one life. From the beginning of this, I said if 100 people show up to ride and five people are in the seats and one life is saved, you know how worth it that is? So I would go on to meet my childhood heroes, work with them, run companies, become a leadership coaching specialist and help affect people's lives. I would meet some of my greatest friendships and there are too many here to name and I do not want to leave people out. So I'm not going to name them here except for one in a minute. And I would be a part of this community, a community that embraced this ethnically ambiguous, mediocre writer <laughs> on his YouTube channel. And when I had this idea, I was like, I was like, wow, would this community e even respond? But you guys did. You turned up today, and I appreciate that. And I have to tell you, hearing Lee's story, being reminded of my own, hearing <laughs> yours, the first person I called the next day uh, was Mark Hill. I yeah, Mark. <laughs> I, I love Mark, and I have to tell you, um, 
I called him and I said, hey man, uh, I want to share this video with you from Lee McCormick. And it haunts me and it reminds me of me and I've heard the stories in our community and I want to do something about it. I want to do it at Sky Park. The only idea I have is I want to call it Ride and Shine and man, I need your help. What does Mark say? He goes, let's do it, brother. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> And, and anyone who knows Mark and gets that, gets a call, hey brother, it's like the best thing, right? So he's like, you all know, but he's like, let's do it, brother. I'm so grateful to you for this. Because here's the thing, Mark knew what this meant to me personally. He knew what it could mean to our community. And he also knows what it means to him personally. And he's gonna share that with you right now. Nice. So give some love to Mark. That is up, Senders Ride and Shine 2022. I can't believe they gave me a microphone. And I'm up here in front of all of my friends in this community. Wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. Uh, we have some great speakers coming up, but I've just got four things I wanted to put a little impression on you. Time, passion, hope, and community. I'm gonna start with time. For those of you who, or actually, for those of you who don't know who I am, um, my name is Mark Hill. I run a podcast called The Segment. I try to get people on there that are moving from the ordinary to the extraordinary and have got great stories of inspiration. I ran it with my buddy Joey Yates right here on KGM TV. Yeah, Joey. So I'm just going to end with that. What a crazy day. Awesome people. Thank you so much, Adam and Mark, for putting that on. Thank you so much, Sky Park. Thank you so much for all the content creators that showed up to help support that. Look, there's so many that I don't even want to uh, start naming names because there's just too many that showed up in support of it. Big turnout. Awesome messages. Well received, I believe, and certainly an important, important topic. Our mental health is everything to us because it really, if we don't have that, we really have nothing. Um, God knows we have some uh, damaged individuals out there. And when I say some, I mean pretty much all of us. And thank God there are people out there that will share their message that will resonate inside of us that we can maybe just grab a nugget of it, hold on to it and help turn some things around. So anyways, thank you so much. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys out on the trails. Please come and say hi. What's up? And until next time, we will see you later.